I'm Bob Phillips with Common Cause North Carolina, and I'm in Rocky Mount, the 19th largest city in North Carolina, east of Raleigh. A decade ago, lawmakers split up the community in a racial gerrymander. This town has more than 60% African American, and its lawmakers are once again in the process of drawing new legislative and congressional maps. Citizens are concerned. What will happen to this community? Will the maps be fair? Rocky Mount's home. It's not too big, not too small. It's just a beautiful place to be, beautiful people. I spoke to Rocky Mount City Council member T.J. Walker about how gerrymandering has impacted this community. I believe politics should be about people and not about power. Um, and when we focus on power, we find ourselves in situations like this where we have lawmakers that want power and want to control districts, um, and it's not fair to the people. Last decade, state lawmakers split the Rocky Mount community in what courts ruled was a racial gerrymander that illegally undermined the voting power of black residents here. Whenever we have that gerrymandering based on race, it's always going to be an unequal and a, an unequitable process where you leave out, you know, uh, primarily the minority group or, or people of color. As the legislature legislature draws new voting maps for North Carolina. It's critical that the voices of Rocky Mount residents are heard in this year's redistricting. But while lawmakers held some public hearings last month, legislative leaders say there may be just one public hearing held only in Raleigh after new maps are released. That raises concerns that people here in Rocky Mount and throughout North Carolina could be left out as maps are adopted, affecting their communities for a decade to come. It's unequitable. I mean, Raleigh's only one piece of our state. We need to make sure that, that every county, every city, every district, they have a voice. It affects us, you know, it, it affects you. And when something affects you, when something is trying to oppress you, you have to be able to speak up. So it's a very important time for North Carolina as lawmakers are drawing the new legislative and congressional maps. It'll set the chart or course for the state for the next decade. Certainly here in Rocky Mount, where there has been a racial gerrymander in the last decade, there is a lot of interest and a lot of concern. Anybody wanting to follow the process, and as Councilor Walker says, to speak up and speak out, you can get all the information you need at commoncausenc.org.